working away Sunday afternoon here just you know doing some housekeeping around the uh, honey house and just poking out to the yards just doing a few things here and there just trying to prepare for the week ahead and I come across one of my little set-asides where I, I run out of sunflowers in this piece or did I? No I didn't. The deer ate the sunflowers here but the phacelia poking through the oats that I put down it looks absolutely terrific. That is a bumper crop of wheat. Very happy with that. He wasn't able to get into this little corner because it was too wet. So I came in here with some phacelia, some sunflowers, some canola, and just, you know, tilled up the weeds and broadcasted this, these flowers over. And it is nicely in bloom. A lot more coming up below the canopy here. So we have just started to see the bloom. And I'm seeing, look at that. There's bumblebees everywhere. You can hear, I don't know if the camera picks this up, probably too much wind, but this little plot is just humming with activity. Bumblebee, honeybee, just scouring this little plot. Precious nectar, precious pollen. Oh, you can just see the movement. So this is what I'm on about. This is what I'm trying to promote. You know, look at that. Food. We need to be able to provide these bees and these pollinators with food. And if we can keep them well nourished, maybe their populations will be able to maintain themselves. I mean, that's common logical sense, right? Food equals growth. That just makes me extremely happy. We need more of this. We need more of this to spread across the countryside. Just little places, bits and pieces here and there. This is what it's all about.